Hello, Mr. Wafi here. Today I want to go through how to put an image into Gravit, and then I'll start with vectorizing that image. So I've searched up James Harden, love his beard, love his game. I'm going to right click, I'm going to save that image. And again, you don't have to do a real picture. You can do just like a cartoon or whatever works for you, whatever you've chosen. This is what I want to do. Uh, now I go open up Gravit, and when you make a new window, it doesn't really matter what you put here. I, I just leave it blank, so you have an infinite canvas. Go create, and this is the button that you want to click. Image. This will pop up here where you can search for the image that you just downloaded, and that will pop up. And so one tip right now would be to lock that layer. So there's a little lock button, and that way I can't move it. It's going to stay there. And now I can grab my pen tool uh, and start vectorizing. So here I want to start with one area. I'm going to start with his, uh, his kind of his skin here around his neck. And again, if you don't do a perfect job right away, that's okay. You can always edit it. And one thing I noticed is that I'm pretty far away, so it's harder to see it. I'm going to zoom in a little closer. And again, here we go. I work my way around. Um, around here and actually you know what to be honest the best way to do it would be to even overlap it right because I know the shirt will actually cover that part up so here now I want to be a little closer to my design and I'm going to go through his ear and just click click through his hair I know this might look funny at first but as we create different aspects, it'll become clearer and clearer what we're doing. There we go, and I can just close that off. And right now I could choose a color. So if you use the color picker, I can choose a shade on his skin. You notice there's different shades there, but maybe that is one that works for me. Um, or you could choose, you know, find a pixel there, choose one that works. I'm gonna turn off the borders. Now what I can do, I can call this uh, face and click the eyeball to hide it. And now I want to work on, say, his, his beard. And so I'll just click, click, and just kind of clicking away here. And again, I'm just doing kind of a quick example. I won't be able to get all those hairs in here, um, but I can get uh, the rough shape of his beard. That's an amazing beard. Goals. And there we go. I'm just clicking. I'm holding a little. Every time I click, I hold a little bit to stretch it. And here, if I, if I zoom in a little bit, notice how it, it curves up. I don't want that. So I'm going to hold on Alt. That breaks the direction of those handles. And I can bring that down like that. And I want that to be uh, kind of the color of his hair. I'm just going to click dark. Okay, and if I take a look here, I'm like, uh, I don't really like how that's turning out here. Um, what I can do is grab sub select, and you can always edit the path, you can edit the location of those nodes, you can add edit the handles to get the right shape that you want. And I think that's good for now. Call that beard. And so so far, if I turn them both on, that's how it looks like. And now let's work on his hair. If I zoom in right here. Um, yes, let's do that. So I will just do this faded part here. And this is going to be a sharp change in direction right here. And I'll work my way up. And again, here I don't care because this top part will be covering this layer. You want layers to overlap. Um, it'll make things look a lot better. And I'm just going to just cut through his ear. Let's do that. And this color right here will be um, maybe a lighter, kind of like that. Let's see how that matches with this. I think that's okay for now. And again, this one here, I want to turn off those, the border of the defaults coming on. I don't want that. Okay, and let's 
turn things on here. Okay, good. Got the beard, got the face. And now what I want to do is get that hair going. Let's turn this one off as well. And what I could do is just delete that border. There we go. Okay, so this hair, I want I want it to go quite close there. Good. And so I'm just getting that long part of the hair. There we go. And the, the idea here is not to have too many nodes. The less nodes, the better, kind of the smoother transition you'll have. I'm going right here and I'm going to change direction to go up there by holding on alt. And I'm not going to get all those little little bits. You can if, if that's what you're going for. For me, I'm just going to go make it more smooth. Oh, this is great. And that's going to be, let's change that color to be quite dark. Perfect. Okay. Let's see how that looks now. Okay, so we're, we're getting there. It's not perfect yet. Um, so one thing I want to highlight or take a look at. Okay, good. So I take a look right there and I notice that there's this gap. I don't want to see any gaps between layers. Layers should overlap. So if I take a look at the picture, I see, well, okay, what's going on there? Okay, so maybe um, I could either take, I go sub-select. Maybe I want that to be his hair. Maybe his hair needs to pop out here a little more. Um, just like that. Maybe this part of his skin needs to come out a little more. And again, so I can I can edit the curve by clicking on the curve, or I can edit the nodes by clicking on the nodes. So this is a little better. Good. And I want to give these paths names. So I'll call this top hair. And this one here will be uh, fade hair. That way, if I go back when I, you know, I have a whole list of like, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 layers. That way, when you go back, you know which ones to edit. Okay, let's see this image again. So now what I want to look at is his ear. Let's look at that. So this is, can be a little tricky, um, but let's just start on the outside. And I want to start here. Just going to work my way up. Kind of curves there different curves um, again it's not perfect but we'll make do with what we got and maybe I'll do that I'll have a curl up like that good press enter and so what I want to do there um, I want that ear to show up so I will give it a border and I will give it a fill and I want to match the skin of his face so I will give the fill that color and notice how it it did go in there and so if I turn on all these here if I were to turn off this ear see how the ear now juts out there that looks a lot better okay so that's the outside of his ear and so we're, we're starting to take shape here starting to look good next I would probably let's go here turn off some of these layers um, one other option, other, you know, you, you notice that I'm turning off a lot of different layers as we go. Um, one option is two things. I could take this layer here, put it in the front, and then some called opacity. So I could turn that down like this and then lock it. And so that way I can still see it. I can see what's going on behind the scenes. And so right now I could just use my pen tool and uh, try to, you know, I, I do find it's a little hard see what's going on but maybe I could you know make this part of the ear here maybe I want to give that a border and maybe I want to make another part of the ear that goes something like this yeah that's good nope undo and again it doesn't have to be perfect but try to make it look look nice right and maybe I'll, I actually want this one to curl around so what I'm going to do is click on that layer, click on the pen tool, and then I can continue that path by clicking on that node. Okay, and I want that just to go up just like that. And I think, let's see how that looks from far away. Yeah, it's okay, it could be better. But again, we're just doing a quick example here. 
Okay, again, so you can always add, I could even add a node there if I wanted to, if I wanted to move things around a little better, a little more. See if that makes things look a little better. There we go. Perfect. Great. So I'm not going to continue here. So what I can do here, I can put that in the background. Uh, maybe I'll turn that opacity back up. And so just really quickly, I, I've, I've started working on this image. I've got the beard, the face. And, and the one thing I want you to take away from this, this lesson um, is that there's no gaps in between uh, the different layers, right? So notice how I overlap, right? So I'm using layers. I, I'm going to think, okay, well, which layer is going to be on top of what? And I use that. And knowing that, say, the top layer is going to be above the fade, the fade can overlap there. Just like I know that the face is behind the beard. I don't really care what it looks like right here, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, so that's one thing. Second thing is make sure um, that you're naming your layers. Make sure you give it names that make sense to you. So when you go back to edit them, I can be like, okay, the beard's here. This is what I want to do to edit it and so on. Okay. So I, I hope this was helpful. Um, I won't continue doing this, but hopefully this gives you the uh, an idea of what to do. Uh, you sh today you should be done that Superman pen tool uh, practice assignment and start getting started on your character vectorization design. And this will be due on Tuesday. If you have any questions, please send me an email and I uh, will talk to you soon. We'll see you actually tomorrow, Friday, at the Google Meet. Okay, cheers. Take care.